we can put Maryland back on track, and we will. Plenty of applause for the governor today during his first state of the state, but most of that applause came from one side of the aisle. But the state of the state is our big story tonight at 6. The governor outlined his new direction for Maryland, highlighted by tax relief and also repeals. He declared the state is not as strong as it could be, and that surprised some Democrats. 11 News I team reporter David Collins attended today's speech. He joins us live from the state house with specifics. David? Well, Ron, put simply, Governor Hogan's first state of the state address left Democrats bristling and Republicans beaming. Everyone stood and applauded Governor Hogan as he entered the House chamber. But as he highlighted his legislative agenda, arguably the only ones clapping were Republicans. The scene was especially obvious when the governor championed campaign finance and election reform. I thought he gave a very partisan speech today, you know, evidenced by having all the R's standing up and clapping and all the D's sitting on their hands. Governor Hogan immediately broke with tradition, in his words, providing a dose of honesty. Instead of declaring the state of the state is strong, he says it's simply not as strong as it could or should be. High taxes, overregulation, and an anti business attitude are clearly the cause of our economic problems. Governor Hogan's new direction for Maryland is ambitious. He proposes tax relief for small businesses by creating a tax exemption on the first $10,000 in personal property. He will pursue tax relief for retirees by eliminating income taxes on pensions for military, police, fire, and first responders. Legislation to repeal the rain tax will be introduced this week. The governor's intention of repealing automatic increases in the gas tax, however, drew some of the harshest criticism. Senate President Mike Miller said Hogan is trying to be Santa Claus and the Grinch at the same time. We need those gas tax funds revenues to build roads and move our people forward. It's not just an economic development issue, it's a quality of life issue. So what this actually does is it crushes. It crushes the hopes of the red line. It crushes the hopes of the purple line. In addition to expanding charter schools, Hogan wants to give a tax credit to those who make donations to private and parochial schools. Later this month, he'll issue an executive order to address the heroin epidemic. The Senate is already considering some bills. See, it's a combination of criminal law and drug treatment, and obviously a lot of people who move on to heroin start at prescription drugs, and so those are kind of the, the areas that you need to focus on. Governor Hogan put legislators on notice that he will put every bill to a test. Will this law or action make it easier for families and small businesses to stay in Maryland? And will it make more families and businesses want to come to Maryland? Democrats who control the state house said the governor made promises he can't keep. He said they said his address was nothing more than a campaign speech. Speaker Bush says you campaign with slogans, but you govern with facts. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. And you can watch the governor's speech in its entirety or read a transcript on WBALTV.com and in our mobile app. Be sure to click on Politics.